What has diversity done to help answer the concerns of, civil right, of the civil rights movement? I think first of all, in the question, we're making a basic assumption that there is diversity. I think that it's superficial in terms of diversity. Real diversity and true diversity can be seen when at the top echelons of business, not everyone sitting around the table are white men. And currently, that's still what you see. So I think we have a long way to go in terms of what diversity can do and true diversity is um, in terms of bringing not only Dr. King's dream alive, but the hope that came out of the civil rights era. Diabetes, cancer, HIV, AIDS. Which health disparity needs more attention and why? I think it's not a question of more. I think we have to learn as African Americans to live healthy and be fit. And that comes with taking care of ourselves, diabetes, HIV, AIDS. It is epidemic of social problems. And until we address homelessness and hunger and poverty, those medical ills will still be affecting us. So I know I didn't really answer the question, yes, but it, it's, it's not one or the other, it's a holistic approach. But if you were to pick one, which one would you pick? If you pinned me in a corner and made me pick one, I would say HIV AIDS because the number in our community, especially amongst black women, is rising rapidly. Is there enough effort being developed to pull troops from Iraq? I'm not sure if there's any effort to pull troops from Iraq. We, the, the president has conceded that they're no longer looking for weapons of mass destruction and there were no weapons of mass destruction. And I think this is going to be an all or nothing type of approach and it's not going to be over and we're not going to pull people until it is over. What do you think is needed to make arts education better? Money. M money. If you, if we don't have the money for it. We don't view it as important. We think that only reading, writing, and arithmetic are important. But unless you develop a child holistically in terms of singing, dancing, anything having to do with the arts. And right now, we're not willing to put our money where our mouth is. What have you done to overcome obstacles that interfere with your moral and civil, civic concerns as a minority? Already woman and African American. I think every day that I live true to myself, I'm overcoming obstacles. I am not an elected official because I want to be popular. And so I view my role as being a voice for the voiceless. So every day that I get up and I fight the fight and I make sure that people that need food get it and children get more money for education and I can facilitate things in my community, I'm overcoming obstacles. Great.